All right, so today we have for you a Starrett. Uh, this is a model 750, HF 750. Uh, it's a Sigma line. Uh, this is currently uh, got a 20X, 10X, and a 50X lens. The biggest one here is the 10. This is the 20, and this is the 50. The screen or the work area here is 30 inches. And uh, you see here this line going across this bar. This is what carries your fiber optic cable uh, for your edge detection, uh, which you get with this uh, Heidenhain QuadraCheck uh, digital readout. This also does um, uh, mathematical uh, and uh, dimensional uh, <coughs> calculations. So we have here. Um, Control, little control panel, you got certain switches. You can turn on these auxiliary lights. You can turn on my main light. Uh, I can go with this joystick up or down with my image or left or right. And then when you get close to where you want to measure, then you can select one of the little uh, push buttons just to bring yourself right where you want to be to measure. Now the idea of the fiber optic cable or the edge detection is so that uh, the control senses immediately when you go from light to dark through the fiber optic cable and you can set that point uh, rather than you trying to figure out when you're right at the exact edge and then saying okay that's zero and then you move across and you try to figure out when you're at the exact I mean you're close but if you want to be more exact uh, you use the edge detection so you have your movements here with the joystick which give you a fixed uh, feed rate or speed and then you have your little push buttons here that go up or down, which uh, each one has its own uh, little potentiometer next to it, a little round knob. Here's the potentiometer uh, so that you can make that speed uh, anything you want it to be. I can turn it up or turn it down uh, so I can go really slow to come up on my edges. Same with the vertical, the up and down. Also, you have over here a readout for your charts, for your chart ring. This is what they call the chart ring. You might have uh, charts that you lay on here, overlays that you're following, a workpiece that's on the table, uh, and you want to be able to turn and rotate it so you, you can turn this whole, uh, this whole, the whole glass screen. Uh, these little clips here, there's four of them, uh, and they can be moved around. They would hold your chart ring if you were using a, a, a chart. Um, you have a crosshatch going through it from top to bottom and from left to right that you set up here and zero your, your readout there. So if, if I wanted to measure one of the angles on this, uh, on this, this picture here, uh, I would rotate my screen and bring this down a little until I can line this line up real nice with what I got here and I'm going to keep going I know it's about 30 degrees but that's pretty close so that's one way you could use it I'm sure there's others uh, I just want you to be aware of that you have your X and your Y axis on the Heidenhain quadra check and you have your minutes and seconds or degrees over here. This is a Terret uh, thing here. I can come around here now and have 10x. Um, again, you probably want to bring it and refocus until you were sharp again. And you have a 50x, which kind of disappears now because you have to focus it all together. I've got to go in or out. There it is over there. That's the that's the fifty X. So you get a lot you get a lot bigger there. This is about one inch. Um, I'm gonna go back to my twenty inch lens. And we bring that back into focus. So these lights here, these are your surface illumination. They come they pull out like that, and uh, in the case of this little lead bullet here that I happen to make as a hobby. We turn that on. Now, when we focus this, you start to see a better picture of my lead bullet. And you can see all the different grease grooves and 
whatnot, but this is cylindrical part, so you can only focus, uh, you know, you can't focus the whole thing in, in one point. You have a depth of field. So that's the uh, surface illumination. That looks pretty nice. It's a nice bright image on this machine. We uh, got inside of it. You can get inside. There's an access panel. There's two big mirrors in there. We cleaned all the mirrors off nice. We cleaned off the, the, the front screen here and all three of your lenses and plus the lenses in the lamp housing. Uh, so this is a really bright image. Uh, this is a nice machine. This is the Starrett and uh, I think I've covered everything. You have your, your visor on the top here and uh, this plugs right into your wall. This just uses regular house current and a regular outlet. And uh, that's it. Thank you very much.